navigate to the transient time UI and uh, once you are in transient time UI enter the values for the transit time you would ask for your destination type in my case the destination type is zone and if the value is US West and for that value I want to set up uh, if the shipping method is UPS 3 days I want to set up a transit time of 10 days so once I have entered the transit time of 10 days go to order organizer and create a, create a sales order so I'm in order, order organizer now and creating the sales order so enter the order header data and, and go to the other tabs go to the show field and then select order date type and uh, enter the value arrival from the list of values of, of the arrival date type so in the show field look for the order date type and then enter the value of arrival uh, why I put the arrival date? Because I want to calculate schedule ship date based on the transit time and schedule arrival date. Enter your item quantity UM. I want to display a few fields like schedule arrival date. So uh, make a schedule arrival date as visible field from the folder functionality. Enter the, your line type based on your requirement. Display a few more fields like uh, latest acceptable date and enter a value for the latest acceptable date based on your requirement. Now I have most of the fields in place. Select a shipping method. In my case, I want to select UPS three days. Select it and now enter the value for schedule arrival date. First I just check the address also. This ship to location is a Florida location but I set a transit time of 10 for any location which is based on US West. So Florida is not a US West. So let's say what system can create. Schedule arrival date is 30th September and I'm expecting schedule ship date is of 20th but it's not a 20 yet, it's a 27. Well, why it's a 27, we will see. My transit time is 10, but please note that that is for the US zone, and my ship to is Florida, which is not a US zone. So that is the reason I have a 27, not the 20th. Let's create another line. Select the shipping method. Come to the shipping tab is there. Everything is there. I have a shipping address. So I now let's change the shipping address to a US first location, which is a San Mateo. Please note that I just modified the ship to location. And now enter the schedule arrival date. And I'm trying to save and my expectation is schedule ship date should be twenty seventh. Wow, this is 30th. It's same as schedule arrival date. Why? Because the moment I change the ship to location, system will wash off my ship method. And that is what has happened in this case. The shipping method is no more. So let's create another test case. So I want to take care of everything this time. So I enter uh, item address is uh, US West. Latest acceptable date as by my requirement. Ship method is UPS three days. This is now I'm entering after changing the ship to location. Now enter schedule arrival date. I just want to verify everything. Say okay. Save it. Now let's see. Let's say three. This is what we want. So that is 20th because of a transit time for US versus 10 days. 
let's go to the folder and display another field called delivery transit time sorry delivery lead time and that's it then and if you look into that my my transit time is 10 days and for the first line it is three days so let's see what was the setup for three days my origin is always v m1 so let's search for location i don't see any transit time of three here let's search for zone oh sorry region now if you look into this for the region is the U united states for the ups three days the transit time is three so it's for the whole united states and that was what happened for the line one now i want to demonstrate how the latest acceptable date work and what are the importance of latest acceptable date now i am creating a order line and i will not enter the latest acceptable date and will try to save the data after providing all the required values and let's see how system react let's save it The system says scheduling fail unable to meet the latest acceptable date. Please note that in the system parameter when we define the latest acceptable date we have three options for it. One is just honor the latest acceptable date that is should honor non null value that we enter in that field. Second is give a warning but still accept the date. The third is do nothing just enter or do not stop the user from saving the order line so let's see what is the value for me here for me it says on the latest acceptable date that means my line should meet the latest acceptable date since it was a blank that's why system was prompting me error now i just set up just do it just ignore it so with the ignore setup whenever i to save it will not throw me any error why it is throwing me error because i have still not closed the ui so to the setup to be effective i have to close the ui and this is what i will demonstrate in next few minutes so far now this demo is over so watch for first next few minutes how i will set up the latest acceptable date to just accept whatever i enter